Nearly all fireworks and explosives these days are set off by one of these, a Chinese electrical igniter. They're not all Chinese. We use tons of these ones, which are Czech ones. And Wells Fireworks use these ones, which is a Martinez Mini from the US. And the reason they use these is because they've got a tiny amount of explosive on the tip of it, which means it doesn't contribute to the lift charge. So I've taken each one of these igniters, I've stuck them on a clamp, and I've put a current through them to set them off. And this is what happened. Right, this is the check igniter. It's got a yellow cable and that leads up to this white tip. And on the end is this green igniter head. And that's surrounded by this, this almost clear plastic shroud with two holes in it. Now the shroud is there to protect the igniter from, from friction when you're putting it into quick match or, or another firework. You don't want it to go off prematurely. So there's the green igniter head and you've got the two cables going up. They look as if they've been welded on. Pretty impressive. I guess that's going to be a spot weld. And then that leads up to that green mass at the top. Now that's the igniter head. That's the explosive composition. And underneath that you've got a bit of nichrome wire. Now the nichrome wire is there. You see bridge between those two bits of uh, metal. That is resistance wire. When you put a current through that, it heats up and ignites that composition on the top and then bursts into flames. So let's see some of them. Wow, look at that black smoke that comes out from it. Tons and tons of sparks, things going flying out everywhere. Looks a little overkill for an igniter, doesn't it? Still loads of sparks flying around with all that smoke. I'm guessing there's lots of aluminium in that one. So let's get a close up. Again, loads of smoke, black smoke that comes out of it. Tremendous amount of fire and flames and all of these sparks. And then without the shroud on, bits go flying everywhere. But it works pretty much the same. Let's do a close up of that. Yeah, you can really see it burning there. Bits flying off all over the place but pretty quick. Okay, so this is the Chinese igniter. Very obvious match head type look on it. Now this one, when it went off, it, um, it went everywhere and a bit hit me. Look at that. The noise from that was quite incredible. It really went with a bang. And it's a very distinctive white flame. It burns for a long, long time. This one actually burnt for the longest. So I'm just going to speed it up here so you can see the flames at the end. Incredible amount of time it burnt for. And then this one is the Martinez one from the US. This one burnt for the least amount of time, and if you have a look at it, look at that green flame. So they obviously used some kind of barium oxidizer in there, and I can see some sparks there, so there's definitely titanium in that. The way that those little things, so let's have a look back at that. Rewind. Yep, so you see those titanium sparks bouncing out. There's one, there's another, and there's another. That's very characteristic of titanium. It's like a little firework display. So if you enjoyed that video, hit like and subscribe, and I'll be making some more soon. Yeah.